So here we have the Ford Fiesta on a 17 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the back of the car, you'll see we've got plenty of boot space given the size of the car, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat should you wish to increase that space even further. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run for on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now they're inside the car, we're going to start the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle at the bottom, we have the fuel gauge and at the top, you can see the total miles for this car, which are 22,060. You can change information that's displayed there by using a button on the end of the indicator stalk for various different bits of trip computer information. Back around to the beginning again. We're back out to the steering wheel. We have stereo controls and phone controls, including voice activation for the phone. That can be used after such time as you paired the phone up. And that is done using the buttons just here, uh, namely that one there, uh, and the screen directly above it. Uh, when it comes to that screen, you can see we have DAB radio. This car has also got FM and AM as well. Every time you press that button, you'll cycle around to a new station. If we back out to the stereo, now we have another button just here that says auxiliary. That's so that you can listen to your own music. Again, if you press that button, it will come up with USB connection and also Bluetooth audio. So you can stream your music wirelessly uh, once you paired your phone. And you can see the CD player just there. The main volume for the stereo is here. We have deadlock so we can lock the car doors from the outside. Beneath that, we have the air conditioning. So you can adjust the fan speed, the temperature, what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in and then the air conditioning is on when that light shows so off or back on again you can recirculate the air that's in the car that's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly depending on the temperature you've set over on this dial just here uh, and again you can turn it on and off very very easily this car's got heated rear screen and a proper heated front screen as well this button turns off the stop and start this car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel that system is now turned off we have a five speed manual gearbox a 12 volt charging socket and the USB input that we mentioned a moment ago. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.